Our nervous system is like an information superhighway, carrying messages from our brain to our spinal cord and beyond. For more than two and a half million people, however, these messages don't travel smoothly or at all. They have diseases that include multiple sclerosis and neuromyelitis optica. These are conditions that cause their body's immune system to attack the insulating outer coating of their nerve fibers called myelin. These progressive conditions lead to neurological problems that affect speech, sight, movement, sensation, and even the ability to think. Today, there's no cure. However, researchers at the biopharmaceutical company Endesi have discovered new drugs that induce the body to recover. For patients with MS, this development offers tremendous hope. My name is Ann Kenny, and I live in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. I was diagnosed with relapsing remitting MS back in 1996. I have walking problems, I have fatigue, I have vision problems and these symptoms will not go away until there's a, some kind of cure. It gives us a lot of hope to have scientists out there to be able to um, bring forth new drugs that would help people with MS. NDC 1308 could help with fatigue, which is a major symptom for people with MS. Everything we do, we have to do a lot harder. We do a lot more. It takes a lot more effort to do it when you have MS. I would be more active with my life and more um, able to be around people and do things with people than I do now. We are just, we're just hoping and praying this drug comes out soon so that it can help a lot of people that have MS. Today I'm joined by Dr. James Yarger and Jim Hoyas of Endesi to talk about their groundbreaking work in remyelination. Thank you so much for being with us, gentlemen. Great to be here. Thanks, Kimberly. You know, this is really an exciting time for you, a time you're working on something that could literally transform the lives of patients like Anne. James, tell us the story of NDC 1308 and how you discovered the drug. Thank you, Kimberly. At uh, NDC, we focus predominantly on diseases for which there are no cures. We do that differently than other companies because we don't focus on one target. Uh, we focus on sets of genes, for example, that are necessary for remyelination because in healthy individuals, those genes are turned on when they're needed and you have the myelin sheath being produced. But MS patients, that doesn't happen. So the thought was, especially uh, when we discovered 1308 had the ability to turn those genes on, that might be an approach to remyelinating uh, this devastating disease. Tell us a little bit more about what makes NDC 1308 different from the drugs that are on the market today to treat MS and how it works. The, the drugs on the market right now are fantastic at slowing the disease progression. It used to be people when they had first stages of multiple sclerosis would progress to um, the primary progressive and secondary progressive within nine to ten years. Mm -hmm. Now that's doubled. It's 19 to 20 years but the disease still progresses and the disability progresses. There's no cure. So we incorporate that, the, the good parts of all of that. We have the ability to turn those genes on to, uh, to produce the, the myelin sheath once again, but we also produce the right environment that's necessary. Uh, say the word macrophages. There's an M1 form and an M2 form that are present around these lesions, the MS lesions. M2 is anti-inflammatory, much like those drugs we just talked about that are on the market. Uh, but the second time is, is M1, which is pro-inflammatory, for example, in causing the disease to begin with. Mm. So we are very excited about the ability to take it to the clinic and to see 1308 because it turns the genes on and provides the right environment you near know, the lesions to repair. Hmm. You know, in addition to MS, uh, Jim, NDC 1308 is an orphan drug or has orphan drug status for uh, NMO. Talk about why that's so significant. Yeah, it's a great question because having orphan drug designation is a big deal in the pharmaceutical industry and it's recognized by key regulatory authorities both in the U.S. with FDA and in Europe. And what it provides you is a period of exclusivity mm -hmm. uh, for your product. So that's the win for the pharma company. Uh, but it's also the clear designation that there's a huge unmet need for patients. Uh, so that helps the regulators um, help you with the clinical development program, trial design, et cetera. Uh, that can move things forward quickly. And there's also some financial benefits for the company in mm -hmm. terms of some tax credits and a waiver of uh, user fees and things like that. So it's uh, important. 
That's great. Tell us a little more about your work in this area and, and specifically what you hope to achieve. Yeah, well, we're pursuing first the NMO, neuromyelitis optica indication. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a patient population, as I said earlier, has a huge unmet need, and we really want to make an impact on them. It matches Endice's mission, certainly, mm -hmm. of, of having products that are more curative. Um, but it also provides that fast pathway, and the clinical trials will give us a view of what potential patient types in MS, multiple sclerosis, or even into Alzheimer's patients might be beneficial down the road. So it gets us to market quickly. That's a win for patients and investors, and it helps inform us moving forward. And I understand those investors are pretty excited about what you're doing. Well, they are, because there's a clear pathway in the near mm -hmm. term, but some of the larger markets, like multiple sclerosis globally, the sale of, of products in that are revenues of $25 billion. So there's a huge commercial potential, and capturing even a small slice of that provides the right return. Uh, but it's a nice balance of a yeah. win for patients and a win for investment. Mm -hmm. So we hope we're successful on the um, fundraising that we're pursuing right now. And you know, the impact uh, on the lives of those patients could be so significant. Um, how long could it be before we see NDC 1308 in a prescription medication form? With a fo focus on NMO, we're looking at about four to five years for the proof of concept and the ability because of being an orphan drug that for a potential for early commercial approval. Mm -hmm. So based upon the knowledge we have about how the drug works and obtaining additional funding to go into the clinic, we're very anxious and excited to be able to provi provide a drug that could be a, a major functional improvement for patients with MS. Wonderful. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much.